That's it. That's all. The Star Princess has left the dock here at the Port of Vancouver and no others will be replacing her, officially bringing the 33rd cruise season at the Canada Place Terminal to an end. This year we actually welcomed um, four new uh, cruise lines to Vancouver and seven new vessels. Uh, including uh, the Roald Amundsen, the world's first hybrid electric uh, ship, came to Vancouver, as well as um, uh, the Queen Elizabeth and the Norwegian Joy all made Vancouver their inaugural uh, port uh, for their inaugural sailings um, to North uh, America. In 2019, Vancouver welcomed more than 1 million cruise passengers on 288 ship visits. That's a 22% increase over last year. But one local travel agency says with ships primarily catered to families and mature adults, the industry needs to start wooing millennials. Millennials this year surpassed boomers in population size. The challenge will be is that the millennials are looking for more authentic spaces, so there, there is a lot of talk about the design of the new ships and how they are going to bring in um, spaces and food choices for millennials, but right now uh, they're, they're not hitting that market very well. Meanwhile, Bruce says Norwegian has been making some headway in that area with drink packages, large onboard parties, and price points more appealing to younger travelers. Oh, I don't know, being stuck on a boat doesn't sound like my kind of, yeah, vacation, I guess. We're normally more keen on doing like on land kind of tours like bus tours and things like that given another 20 years you might get into like do you think you would eventually enjoy it yeah i do uh the food's always really good on a cruise ship uh different island every day um it, it seems interesting i have like heaps of friends that go on cruises and they love it now we did get a little lucky i was able to get the attention of a few young adults hanging out on their balcony and they were nice enough to talk to us by phone and it's just a really cool way to see the coastline and relax and kind of be cut off from social media for a little bit. No internet, that type of thing. Now, for people who say that Oh, millennials don't like to go cruising, would you would you uh, disagree with that? Would you say, well, we like it? Yeah, we definitely like it. This is, what is this, what number of cruises is this that we've been on? This is probably our fourth or fifth cruise together, and um, we don't see a lot of other millennials or young people on the ship, but uh, <laughs> we still really enjoy it. The 2020 cruise season will kick off on Thursday, April 2nd. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.